Rabbi, I'd like to ask you a question. Do you think believers should play computer games? 1989 was the first time I left the Soviet Union. My father and I went to Israel to visit my brother, and we lived in a room with a computer. 1989. A computer. It must have been black and white then, right? No, I don't think so. And there was this game, just, just think, an actual computer. It was my first experience with a computer. And my brother showed me a game there, and I remember some kind of critters. I started playing this critters game, and I really got into it. I was a believer for just three months. Three months before that, I had truly repented. For the first time, for real. I experienced this dilemma. I realized after a few days that I was so into it that I had never seen anything like it, much less participated in it. It was drawing me in, and I remembered one scripture from the Bible. I didn't know the vi Bible very well then. But this scripture came to mind. Everything is permissible for you, but nothing shall possess you. And I saw that it was beginning to possess me. So I decided to give it up. And I'm not a very strong-willed man, frankly speaking. But because I did it before God, and I asked God to help me. So, since then, I haven't played any of the computer games at all, since 1989. But it's God's protection, simply. God's protection. It is God's supernatural protection. I think the computer game industry in general, I mean, it's my personal opinion, wasn't designed by God. And those so-called harmless games are allegedly designed to develop good skills in children or to teach something. However, when a person begins to go deep into them, he enters the addictive world of computer gaming. He doesn't just stay within the confines of healthy recreation. This game just opens the door before him into the world of computer games. And in that world, everything is focused on going from level to level. From level to level, but actually going down from level to level, deeper and deeper. From one level to another, deeper into addiction and being taken over by this game. I don't want to say that there are demons behind every game, but step by step, it can lead to exposure to increasingly violent, explicit, and demonic games. Not necessarily everyone gets into those games, but any addiction of any kind is demonic already.